back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kennedy and I am a sophomore in college and today I'm doing something that I am so excited about. I'm going to tie-dye some clothes. So I have seen um, lots of people do this recently while in like stuck in your houses and stuff and I think that it is really fun and I've really been wanting to do it. So I ordered this tie-dye kit from Walmart. It's not like the rainbow kind because those kinds are really expensive, but it's the carousel colors. It has teal, royal blue, black, purple, and fuchsia, like a pink kind of color, and I thought that these were good, and it's not the crazy amount with all the different colors. And then I also ordered a white sweatshirt and two white long sleeve t-shirts. They came in a pack, so... It was really cheaper to get two than just to get one. So I got two. Let me show you what I got. So I got two of these, just like long sleeve t-shirts. They're just white. I got two of these. And then I got a white sweatshirt. Then I went ahead and took the like strings out of the hood. I took the strings out because I want the strings to still be white and the sweatshirt to be colorful. I think that will look really cool. So that is my plan with that. Let's start with um, folding up my sweatshirt because I'm going to do that one first. Um, you can do tie-dye uh, with wet or dry clothes. Um, I'm doing the dry method. It says that you can do either one. But I picked the dry one because I washed them last night and then put them in the dryer so they're dry. And you do have to wash your clothes before you do tie-dye. So I'm going to crumple. I mean, swirl this shirt, this sweatshirt. I've never swirled something this big before, so I'm interested to see how this is gonna work. So you just like pinch it in the middle, and then you like swirl. And you just kind of like help the sweatshirt move along with it. So I finally got this in like the spiral look. It was really difficult. I had to go get some rubber bands from inside my house because those other ones are too small and they would not stretch as much. So I had to get backups. I'm going to start um, folding these two other shirts. So I'm going to do the crumple method with this one. So let's try that. I about this now I feel like I was really confident before I started this video that it was gonna turn out really good but now I don't know it's getting kind of difficult so that's not good all right the last shirt I'm gonna do another spiral with this shirt because I just like like the spiral and I'm gonna get it this time it's gonna be better This one actually looks really good. It looks way better on the bottom than it does on the top, but I think it looks really cute. Now, let's move on to the tie-dye section. Okay, so I have my tie-dye station set up, and for the sweatshirt, which is what I'm going to do first, I'm gonna use pink, blue, purple, and teal. No black on this one. So let's start. I'm really nervous. I'm afraid that I'm going to use all the dye on the sweatshirt because I tend to like overuse dye. But I'm going to really try not to do that. So I obviously still have some for the other ones. I also have a plastic bag that I'm going to put it in once I'm finished for it to set. Okay, let's try this. Oh my. Okay, this is nerve wracking. All right, ready? Pink is going to go here. So I feel like I'm gonna do the pink and pink ones first, and then I'm gonna move to the next color. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, ready?
This is going interesting. did the wrong section. Ooh, okay. Focus. <laughs> I'm done with this sweatshirt. I think it looks pretty good. We definitely have some mixing in the pink area with the blue. And yeah, the pink's kind of mixed a little bit, but I don't think it'll be a poopy color. I think it'll be like purple or something. So I'm gonna put it in a bag and then we're gonna move on to the next shirt. Okay, so now I am moved on to this shirt. This is the spiral one, and I'm going to use all of the colors except for this blue for that one. So it's gonna be pink, purple, teal, and black. Let's do it. pushing in wow that's it for this shirt this shirt I am now the most worried about because it looks like all the colors just basically mix as you can see in the middle it's like really dark and I feel like all the colors mixed so I might add a little more pink to here to see if I can revive her a little bit maybe like try to open up these crevices and add some pink and I'm going to do a little more teal in this area just to see if I can revive some color. Okay, that's it for this one. So now I'm going to do the crumple shirt. This one I'm going to do all the colors except for pink. So the cool colors with black and this. And I'm going to try to do it a little more randomly and leave some more white. So... My sister suggested I did that, so Emma, if it's wrong, it's your fault. <laughs> okay, let's start. because I just did it and you know just said whatever so now um, I'm gonna put these in bags and let them sit for six to eight hours and then after that I open them up and like wring out the color so there's no extra color in them and then I'll show you guys what they look like before they're washed and then I will come back tomorrow to show you the final product See you then! Hi guys, so it has been six hours since we finished the tie-dye and I am here in my kitchen to rinse it off and see what it looks like before we wash it. So first things first, you gotta cut the rubber bands so you can unravel your, your masterpiece. This one is the one that I'm least nervous about. This one is a sweatshirt, if you guys don't remember. So, okay some white in there oh okay that looks like pretty good I think looks pretty good let me get a good view okay 
There's lots of white in the middle, but I don't think it looks that bad. Let's look at the back. Okay, that looks pretty cute. I like that that little spiral in the middle. I like that. So now we are doing the crumpled shirt. Um, I think the sweatshirt turned out pretty good, but this one I think I was most scared of out of all of them. So let's see, because I've never done crumpled before. I've only done spiral. And the colors, the black looked like it mixed with all of them, so... That makes me kind of nervous. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, it looks like the back didn't get that much dye. This is what it looks like. <laughs> it does not look very cute. Oh gosh. I wish that the back sleeve went on the front. Because the front of this sleeve has nothing, but the back looks kind of cool. I think I should have put way more dye in this shirt. Now it's time to unravel the last shirt. This is the long sleeve shirt with the spiral. So yeah, I'm the last one <laughs> was definitely bad. Um, I'm, I was a little nervous about this one, but not as much as the crumple, so we'll see. Just the black, I feel like it kind of gets everywhere. Okay, there's a little white on the, oh no. <laughs> uh, I swear I got the crevices. Okay, this is the back. It doesn't look bad, but oh. Okay, definitely not what I was going for. This is the front. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that, that kind of looks cool in the sleeves. Yeah, this definitely wasn't what I was going for. But the sleeves look kind of cool. All the shirts are, <laughs> are now rinsed. I'm gonna go put these in the washer and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the try on and final reveal. Hey guys, so it is the next day and my clothes were in the washer and dryer and they are all ready. So I am outside and ready to show you the final reveal of my clothes. Let's do it. So this is the crumple shirt that we did. This is what it looks like. Um, this is definitely my least favorite one I think but it looks better when it's on me than when I just am like holding it up so I don't know I think it turned out pretty good I'll definitely wear it like I'm not gonna throw it away or anything I'll definitely wear it but this is what it looks like so this is the spiral long sleeve shirt this is what it looks like I really like this area right here on the sleeves. Well, <laughs> that area right there on the sleeves. I don't know, I think the sleeves on all my shirts turned out pretty good. So this is what it looks like, the spiral one. Um, I don't know how I feel about this one. It looked way better when I was like holding it up. But <laughs> I don't know, it doesn't look bad. I'm, obviously gonna wear it and this is the sweatshirt I added back the strings that I took out to keep them white and I think that it looks so cool we did the spiral on this sweatshirt you can't really tell completely that it's a spiral but I still think it looks really cool you can tell more on the back that it's a spiral this is my favorite one of the whole video. It's really comfy too, so I'm just gonna be wearing this so much during like quarantine and even after that because it's so cute. So yeah, um, I wanna say thank you to my sister Emma for filming this video for me. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it and you guys do tie-dye at your house too. It's really fun and a great way to keep you occupied while you are bored during this time. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below what other quarantine crafts or videos you want to see from me. And stay safe. I'll see you next week. Bye!